Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. Welcome back to my channel, The Ninth Cup Tarot, where all of my readings focus on your soul's destiny and everything you can do to embody your soul's purpose during the current human experience. Now, I am bringing to you guys a different kind of reading. This is gonna be for your sun and mercury placements. So, currently Mercury is in the sign of Virgo, and so is the sun, we are in Virgo season. And I figured that I would just go on, um, I would kind of dive into the current energies of Mercury because it is a planet, first off, it's a personal planet. Um, you know, it's a planet that drives our, um, our form of communication. You know, it, it really has everything to do with how we express our personal mission statement to society as well as interact with people in our immediate sphere of influence. So, you know, if you think about things that kind of govern the day to day, um, you know, our health and wellness, also, you know, literally how we speak to the people we care about or how we express ourselves in times of conflict, um, that's all Mercurian energy. Mercury rules the third house in our birth charts along with Gemini, as well as the sixth house along with Virgo. The third house is all about communication, all forms of communication. The sixth house is more health and wellness in the day to day activities that we engage in. Um, now, Gemini is an earth sign, more intellectual, more um, mental-based type energy. Virgo is an earth sign, so it's more um, practical, steadfast, um, very down-to-earth, and very detail-oriented. So if your Mercury is placed in Virgo, then right now you probably are being extremely nitpicky, <laughs> and I mean that in the kindest way. You know, you're probably nitpicking at a lot of um, details that are just like immediately in front of you as well as in the collective. Um, you all, we might be going crazy with like all the kind of, all the different kinds of communication we're receiving now, especially with the global situation going on. And um, uh, it's not to say that this is like harming you um, for those of you with Virgo in your, Mercury in your Virgo, um, but it's just, I feel like it's like heightened now, even more so than um, it is on a regular basis. So you guys, all right, without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and start the reading. This is for the sun and Mercury placement in Virgo. Um, we're in Virgo season, so that's what I'm starting with. I'm recording, recording this today on September 12th, 2020, but this is a timeless read. So whenever you see it is when you're meant to see it. And I hope that this reading applies to you. So I'm actually gonna do, I'm going to start with the Muse Tarot, actually, and then I'm going to do clarifiers with the Light Seers. And I'm doing a seven card spread um, with the first position being um, your current energies. Then we're going to get your strength. And this is all as it relates to your communication style, right? Or your communication position. What's currently going on as it uh, relates to how you communicate? This is how you're being supported. The center card is going to be your challenge. Next card after the challenge is going to be, whoops, advice from, okay, well, these really want to come out, so I'm going to take them. Um, advice from spirit, advice from your guides, and what you know to be true within your heart. We have a bonus card here, which is a um, page of voices. I just took it since they wanted to really flip out bottom of the deck we have the empress okay so that's uh, earth energy it's uh well it's venusian energy venus energy but um excuse me libra and taurus and also i consider this to also be venus and capricorn i think the empress is also capricorn energy because she is about her dough the empress so that's that so you guys are looking good right now mm -hmm. um i just want to make sure you guys can see for those of you, welcome back to my channel. I am outside, slightly different setup. I just wanted to enjoy the weather and get these readings out. It's nice and warm, not bad out today. So to start, we have eight of materials, which is eight of pentacles in your current position. So you all are really working hard on something. As I mentioned in the intro, <laughs> with the Virgo being very steadfast, very detail oriented, you all are working on either a current project, 
Um, you could just be going through like your social media pages and cleaning it up, like maybe taking off old photos. If you have a website, for some of you that are entrepreneurs, you're starting up your own business, you might be like working on building new landing pages, um, creating the content that goes into those landing pages, things like that. I'm really getting that for you guys. Uh, follow it with your strength, the Ace of Inspiration, which is Ace of Wands. Again, starting a new beginning, something that you're very passionate about. You know, I'm getting that you all aren't necessarily in a space of creativity, but it's about getting the, you know, kind of like the tedious work done. Kind of get like crossing your teeth, dotting your eyes, um, clearing away any excess information that's not needed in your immediate space. Um, and then also making sure that you're being clear to others. Like I just got a download about clarity. So in the past, communicating with others, either business partners, family members, intimate partners, there may have been like some miscommunication or just um, a lack of clarity with where you stand on certain issues. So it could be about your business. It could be about where you stand in a relationship, how you feel about someone else. Um, because the next card is the three of emotions, which is three of cups. So three of cups is a celebration card. Um, it's water energy, Cancer Scorpio, Scorpio Pisces. Um, inspiration is wands, which is fire energy. Sag, Leo, Aries, and materials is um, pentacles, like I said. So that's your energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Um, so just wanted to clarify since this deck's a little bit different. But yeah, in your strength position, I'm sorry, in your, um, so this is current position, strength position, how you're being supported. So how you're being supported by the universe, right? By spirit is the three of emotions, which again, it's a celebratory card, but it's also for me a card of, um, collaboration and really being vulnerable among people that you trust. So, you know, I was talking about like you building this business and getting clear and, you know, establishing um, really straightforward communication with those that are close to you. I think you're doing so from a heart uh, centered place. Um, you're being very mindful of how you come across to others, uh, working on um, being a bit more like soft in your language. I think Virgo, because you're so detail oriented, because you are so hardworking, you be you can be kind of um, kind of blunt, kind of a little too straightforward sometimes. So I think you guys are like definitely taking a step back and um, realizing that it's okay to be a little emotional when you communicate with people. Not emotional in like a sense of like you're losing control, but again from that heart centered place of compassion and love and you know honesty and inclusion, things like that. Now in your current um, your current challenge is the Knight of Materials. That's the Knight of Pentacles. That's the slowest moving Knight of the deck. Um, so you all are doing these, these tasks that are going to essentially help you communicate your mission statement to the greater collective, right? So that's Mercurian energy. And I think because of that, because of all this work you're doing, um, starting this new project, you know, really tapping into your heart space, there is going to be rewards, but it's going to come in kind of slow. Um, you're now planting seeds. You're now kind of seeding the ideas and the efforts. And Source is really telling you that, you know, your challenge position basically is what you want to be your outcome. That's how I see the challenge position in these uh, seven card spreads is that, you know, it's a challenge because that's what you're working towards. You can see it's right at the peak, right? It's kind of what you're working up towards. And this is everything that's kind of being... Um, sent your way behind the scenes. So this night of materials, again, you are gonna be rewarded um, in a material way, money, new opportunities, physical things like gifts, but it may come in a little bit slower than you expect. That's perfectly fine. You wanna make sure that um, you get the things that you actually deserve, right? Like you don't want somebody just throwing you pennies because you're doing work. No, you wanna make sure that you are putting in all the time and effort and energy to reap the kind of rewards that you um, really, really deserve. Okay, so in the advice from Spirit, we have the devil, the devil card here. This is the card of Capricorn. So you all may be stuck in some limitations, not because of uh, capabilities, like you lack the ability to do anything, um, I'm getting that you all may be obsessing over the details of something. And that is definitely your Mercurian way, <laughs> Virgo way of, um, you know, carrying out your duties, like carrying out your business. And this devil card here is advice from spirit. Just here to remind you that you don't need to really get caught up on these tiny little details. 
it's okay to like zoom out and think big picture. Um, it's also okay to let other people have a little bit of control and say over, um, you know, these smaller, um, you know, lower level things going on. Like, you know, is it really that big of a deal if you have like one photo in your landing page versus two? You know what I mean? Like things like that. Like it's like these tiny little like um, trivial things that I think you might be obsessing over and it's limiting your, your progress, right? And that's, that might be another reason why your rewards are going to come in slower is because you're sitting here wasting time and, you know, obsessing over things that really don't matter in the long run. So I think spirit is just here to tell you, like, ease up a little bit. <laughs> You don't have to have such a tight grip on everything, all right? Now, uh, advice from your guides, seven of materials. Remember I said uh, you always were planting seeds? This is seven of pentacles. Um, this is literally you planting the seeds for what is to come in the near future. Um, you're doing all this work, right? You're tapping into your heart space. You're getting clear about where you stand, where you want to go. And source is like, listen, there's no need to have a tight grip on everything. We got you. We're going to support you. We're going to give you the fruits of your labor as long as you continue to like seed whatever this mission is of yours, right? And be inspired and speak from a heart space of honesty, uh, integrity, and authenticity. And this seven of materials here is definitely, you know, it's your guides, your own spirit guides telling you that they're there to back you as well. Like for every seed you put in, they're there to put in you know, another seat right next to it, or they're there to help you water those seeds that you're putting in. And finally, what you know in your heart to be true is the five of voices. So this is five of swords. So this is just a, um, this is an indication that you all need to not be hindered by feeling a little bit fearful or not having enough confidence to do something. So because Virgo is an earth sign, it's like you guys want all your ducks to be in a row before you take action. And I think this card is here to tell you that you don't have to necessarily feel 100% confident about, you know, yourself or about a particular craft before you take action or before you actually believe that it will be successful. A lot of people start before they're ready. A lot of people, you know, start these ventures and projects and, you know, creative pursuits when they're very novice, when they're very, um, just very like inexperience in whatever it is they're doing. So I don't think that, oh, and look, that bonus card is the page of voices, the page of swords. So pages are either young people or someone that's very new to a craft or they're there or they're in the beginning stages of a particular endeavor. Um, you know, it just represents being young or new or like in the initial phases of something. So that's interesting that that came out as a bonus card because I think sometimes what's coming up for you guys that may keep you a little bit stuck with this devil energy is that you feel like you don't know enough or, you know, all, all of the things aren't set up, like all of the links in your website isn't, you know, aren't live yet or, you know what I mean? All of the pictures haven't been edited like how you want them to be edited and that is not to be... Um, at the forefront of what you're doing. There's a bigger, you guys have a bigger purpose. Look, at the bottom of this deck, you have the Empress. Okay, so you are all fertile with something that's ready to be birthed. I mean, some of you could physically be pregnant. Uh, by the way, happy birthday to you Virgos out there. Um, but yeah, I think that this is really just speaking to what you're passionate about, where you're going in the near future. You know, what are the things that have been kind of um, churning and kind of stirring up within you in the the recent past that you now want to take insight or I'm not insight you now want to take action on excuse me um I think you all are in really great shape you guys I think this mercury energy in your sign and with mercury also being your sign's natural ruler over the sixth house this is beautiful energy um you all are definitely prioritizing your health and wellness you know not just your physical health and wellness but like the, the health of your, your overall life. You know, the Empress energy is also about your money, you know, your material possessions, your home life, your money, your opportunities, um, you know, your stability. So great things are in store, you guys. I'm really, really excited for you, Virgos. All right. I actually don't think we need clarifiers. I was going to get clarifiers with the Light Sears Tarot, but I think that this is actually, I think Spirit really wants this to be laid out as it is. Um, yeah, and these messages are just so beautiful. I see you all really, really working with Source. Whether you know it or not, 
Um, I just think the energy that you're putting out into the ethos, into the ethers, or is just going to come right back down um, into the 3D, and you're going to really, really see the fruits of your labor. I'm really, really excited for you guys. All right, let's get a few oracle from the Keeper's Oracle deck. I'm sorry, Keepers of the Light. Keepers of the Light. Just to give you some advice, additional advice from Spirit, um, what you can do to stay grounded. Let's see what we have here. Lady Venus, more Venusian energy. Downloads and understanding. Truth is being revealed. Deep insights are coming from heaven and the astral realm. So there you have it. You all are really working hard in the 3D, but there, there are angels and spirit guides behind the scenes that are also organizing things for you. That's why you don't need to get caught up in these small little details, you guys. Like things are working themselves out for, out for you behind the scenes. Mary Magdalene, teacher awakens. You have something important to share. Follow the inner call. Don't let anything stop you. So this is really tapping into that um, feeling of not being ready, right? Not knowing enough, not being confident enough. No. Whatever you know now is enough to teach somebody who doesn't know as much as you. Remember, you're always a few steps ahead of somebody who's following you, who's inspired by you, okay? Who's just on a different area of their evolution. You're never, you're never... Um, not going to have somebody who's influenced by your work, okay? So we have Jual Pool. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but this is Dharma unfolding. Remember that you're on a path. Take one step at a time to happiness. There you have it, Virgo. And you're doing that one step at a time. Look at this. You're working your way up. That eight of materials kind of says it all in terms of where you're positioned. Beautiful reading. I won't take the bottom of the deck for the oracles, but all right, Virgo, this is what I have for you guys. Such a beautiful reading. So high vibe. Uh, I hope you all are enjoying your birthday season, staying safe. For those of you that would like a personal reading, check out the links below. Um, I do personal tarot readings as well as soul purpose readings using your astrological birth chart. I will give you a full reading on your soul's purpose. Um, and that is all. If you haven't already, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. Um, check out my Medium account. And if this is your kind of thing, go ahead and subscribe. I'd love to see you in other readings. And um, like and comment below if this resonates for sure, obviously. And um, yeah, I love you guys so much. Thank you for being here and be sure to thrive. Bye.